the ocean is a scary and dangerous place in general. The mere sight of endless and deep waters can shock you, but there are some particularly creepy and unpleasant places in the ocean that are frightening in their appearance. This is Infinity. Let's go. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean on Earth, but you have no idea how huge it is. The Pacific Ocean is so gigantic that there are places from which you have to swim for days to see land. Point Nemo is the most important of these places. It is the farthest point from any land on Earth. The nearest land points are almost 1,677 miles away. This place is so lonely that even the ISS is periodically closer to it than any other object on Earth, and this fact is frightening. But that's not all. Scientists don't go to Point Nemo themselves, but they do explore the ocean with hydrophones. One day, they pick up a spooky sound emanating not far from Point Nemo. The sound was dubbed bloop. Given the characteristics of the sound, it could have been made by a creature that must have been many times larger than the blue whale. It's possible that such a supergiant might have made such a sound, but we'll never know. As I said, scientists don't go to Point Nemo, so they don't have the opportunity to dive to the bottom of the ocean at that location to discover a new species of giant animal. It's not just at Point Nemo that strange things happen. Unusual sounds were recorded in other places as well. For example, in the early 1950s, the crew of the Northern Fleet submarine detected strange sounds in the Norwegian Sea. The commander assumed that the submarine was surrounded by some creatures, but then the version changed. The submariners decided that the enemy had deployed a ship direction finding system, but that version wasn't confirmed either. The Navy launched a program to counter the system and named it Quaker because the sounds were quacking. Unlike the bloop sound, which was recorded only once, the mysterious quacker sounds later made themselves known again. For example, in March 1999, a sound called Julia was recorded in the Pacific Ocean. Even before that, in 1997, near West Antarctica, they detected a sound that was called train. And in July of that year, scientists recorded a sound called whistle, which resembled the sound of boiling water in a kettle. Scientists believe that all these sounds are caused by ice falling on the ocean floor or fire. What if these three sounds have something in common with the bloop and the Quakers? Could they be made by dangerous, giant deep sea monsters that we have yet to encounter? Okay, let's switch to something more understandable. And for that, let's go to the Cape of Good Hope. This is one of the southernmost points of Africa, which belongs to South Africa. The Cape doesn't really live up to its name because its waters are some of the creepiest in the entire world. First of all, killer waves rage here. They're huge and steep waves, the height of which can reach 100 feet. They do not change their shape in the process of spreading, and even when interacting with their own kind, can spread over very long distances without losing their energy. In front of such waves, very deep troughs are formed. In general, these waves are incredibly dangerous. For hundreds of years, they've destroyed many ships in the area of South Africa. Here at the bottom of the ocean, a whole ship graveyard rests. The waves are also dangerous for the coast itself. Sometimes high waves crash with all their might on the local rocks. In addition, the waters near Cape of Good Hope are teeming with dangerous sharks. They swim a hefty distance from the Cape and swim as close to the coast as possible. Therefore, if the killer waves haven't been able to kill the ship's crew, a hungry predator shark can do it. Chuk Lagoon If the waters of the Cape of Good Hope are a graveyard of ordinary ships, then Chuk Lagoon in Micronesia is a graveyard of military equipment. It's one of the most oppressive and creepiest places you can find in the entire world ocean. At the bottom of the crystal-clear heavenly waters, there are a lot of different ships, planes, tanks, and even sailors and soldiers. The reason for that is the battle that took place here in 1944. American fighters carried out Operation Hailstone, aimed at destroying the Japanese fleet and aircraft located at the airfields. In an instant, this little paradise became a mass grave for military equipment and soldiers who didn't leave their combat posts. Now you can find here some tankers, submarines, cruisers, and small warships, 
as well as other equipment that merges more and more with corals and reefs every year. But that's not all. Chuuk Lagoon is covered in a mystery. Every year, divers die here and their bodies remain undiscovered for unknown reasons. Perhaps the local predatory sharks are to blame, or maybe it's someone else. Do you have a version? The Sargasso Sea is considered no less eerie and dangerous than the Bermuda Triangle. It's one of the most unusual seas on the planet, at least because it has no hard shores. In fact, the shores of the sea are the Atlantic Ocean and currents. It's the currents that are some of the greatest dangers of the Sargasso Sea. In some places, the sea swirls like a vortex. Experts believe that local funnels can easily sink a ship. In addition, some scientists believe that not only the sea rotates, but also the air above it, which creates cyclones in which planes can get caught. There's another problem. Some areas of the sea are characterized by calm air. Once caught in the calm air, a sailing ship will not be able to move, so it can stand for a long time until the situation changes. In the past, this has resulted in the death of the crew on several occasions. On top of that, the place looks creepy because of the brown algae. Algae accumulate in the Sargasso Sea and can no longer leave it because of the many currents. Several million tons of algae have already accumulated here over time. While the Sargasso Sea doesn't look groomed and nice, it's nowhere near the ocean's dirtiest and most toxic place, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. There are no mystical inhabitants huge killer waves, or a graveyard of military vehicles, but the place is truly creepy because it's a giant dump. There's so much trash that the Great Pacific Garbage Patch already looks like an entire continent. That's close to the truth. The exact area is unknown, but it's thought that it may be 579,000 square miles. It's estimated that this area contains more than 220 billion pounds of trash. Debris accumulates here due to the currents that bring it from different parts of the Earth. The main amount of garbage gets here through the rivers. Also, a lot of it comes from the waste from ships and offshore oil rigs. This place is unpleasant to even look at, but the place hurts not only that way. The animals and fish that migrate through this part of the ocean unwittingly become victims of plastic pollution. Plastic enters their bodies with food and water, contaminates their gills and lungs, and is not excreted by the body in any way. Volunteers and scientists are trying to deal with this problem and regularly remove some of the trash from here, but I don't think anyone will be able to completely clean up such a toxic and polluted place. A place called the Devil's Sea is often called the Pacific Triangle by analogy with the Bermuda Triangle. As you understand, people, ships and planes also disappear here. The Devil's Sea has been scaring the locals since ancient times. They believed that mystical monsters lived at the bottom of this region and abducted sailors and fishermen. I don't know if there are monsters there, but disappearances did happen here. In 1953, three ships disappeared without a trace here before they even had time to send out a distress call. Then a research expedition was sent to the same place. It suffered the same fate. In addition, according to UFOologists, ghost ships and UFOs can be found in this area. The deepest place in the world ocean can, by default, be called one of the creepiest. The Mariana Trench is astonishingly large because it's hidden under 6.8 miles of water. Getting here, even in an equipped bathyscaphe, is a very difficult task, so it's not surprising that only a few people have visited the Mariana Trench for all the time. But what is surprising is that there's life at such an incredible depth. There are microbial life forms, giant amoebas, and amphipoda. Scary fish and even dangerous viruses have also been found here. Not much is known about the Mariana Trench itself because even just putting a camera down here is not easy. But theorists believe that scientists have not disclosed even half of the information about this place. According to them, the Mariana Trench may be home to extremely dangerous creatures and even animals that were thought to be extinct long ago. Where do people regularly die and disappear when it comes to the ocean? Certainly in the Bermuda Triangle. This is rightly one of the creepiest and most mysterious places, not only in the entire ocean, but also in the world as a whole. Under very strange circumstances, a huge number of very different ships have disappeared here, as well as aircraft that flew over the sea. Some were lucky enough to overcome this triangle without problems, and some ships were not even found until decades after they disappeared. But still, most of those who disappeared in this region disappeared forever and without a trace. 
Anomalous incidents occurring here do not give rest not only to oceanologists and military, but also to UFOologists all over the world. A variety of versions have been put forward to explain the disappearance of people in transport, from the sudden appearance of dangerous killer waves to abductions by extraterrestrial races and the presence of space-time portals in the region. Scientists, on the other hand, believe that the cause of the disappearances may be forced magnetic fields that interfere with navigational instruments. Still unclear what exactly caused the disappearance of many ships and people, the mystery of this eerie place may never be solved. And finally, one of the most unusual places in the entire ocean, Neptune Memorial Reef, 3.1 miles from Key Biscayne in Miami. The Memorial Reef is located at a shallow depth of 39 to 46 feet. It looks, to say the least, fascinating, as if the submerged city with its statues, central square, and monuments. But it's not even this that's creepy. It's the fact that the Memorial Reef is a real cemetery. Here they bury people who have decided to be buried in the sea after death. A place for future burial can be purchased by anyone. The deceased is cremated, their ashes are mixed with cement, and a monument is made in the form that the deceased wished. Then the monument is installed and fastened to the bottom. A bronze or copper plaque with the data of the deceased is attached to the monument. Of course, not all relatives and friends will be able to visit such an unusual place, but only those who have scuba diving skills. The rest of the family and friends get photos of the burial process and the installation of the monument as a memento. All this is quite strange and creepy, but many people are actively booking burial in this place and divers and other tourists regularly visit the unusual memorial reef. That's all, guys. Which place in the ocean do you personally find the creepiest? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.